Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Minecraft. It's a very long way down. Not really. But accidentally. I was lighting up. What's with all the glass? Oh cool, we've got another one of these. So that I can see what's there, but I'm safe. Oh, but yeah, so, because um, I wanted some tinted glass for the yeah. axe metals. Um, ah. And I found one of these out in the water, but it was quite far and a bit of a pain. Mm. And so I was for sure I remembered. Well, there's one, one underneath the bamboo farm. Yeah, but I was sure I remember one being over here. And then I forgot we did that ladder, or I did that ladder onto the top of the cliff. Oh, you've already done this one? This was like ages ago when we first got oh. here. I completely forgot about it. And I thought it's quite handy being right here because I can stand near the top of the stairs. Yeah. And it they'll um, keep ticking over. And so right, hang on a minute. Villagers... You've got a torch there that's stopping one of the crystals from well, it's actually stopping both crystals from going, but um, torch right there. So it's in between. I think I've blocks. got enough. Yeah. It takes ages to go around and get them all. Um, so yeah, you mine them out with the fortune pick, do you? Or do you... Uh, no, I've got a stack of them to do with the fortune picks. It just oh, takes up so much space. Well, yeah. It's like up to 12 at a time. So. Yeah. Okay. Um, I started doing with the fortune pick and then realised... What? Gold ore over there. Yeah. I did get some yesterday and then I stopped. And um... Copper... So... Something that I want to do is, um, I know I said before that like uh, Il Mango had set himself that personal challenge of getting one double chest of every item in the game, and I wasn't quite going to do that, but I would like to get a double chest or two of uh, blocks of um, raw gold, blocks of raw iron, and copper does the same, isn't it? Is copper raw copper? Uh, yes. Copper work. I can't remember um, how copper works now. There's copper in one of these. Uh, oh, no, top one? Yeah, the, in the top one on the end. So, copper ore right there. I can't remember how copper works. Uh, I need... If we got a... Oh, there we go, end of chest. I want that one. I want my fortune pick. And I'm just going to pop down these copper ore here. So we can at some point go and make a copper farm. You gotta you basically you use a zombie spawner and you put the zombies through water, and after the zombies have been in water for a set amount of time, they turn into drowned zombies, and then you kill them. And they have a I think it's a 14% chance of dropping um oh, a copper bar a copper bar yeah i've gotten several of um cop several copper bars through that do you need to yeah. sleep uh apparently not right let's just go and put that back there so i got 33 i got 64 raw copper and another 33 from there so I put that one back that was from a fortune pick and so now if I go here, and I think I... Oh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. I see it right there. Raw block of raw copper right there. So I can take that one. That gives me 10 blocks of raw copper. Now, these are actually storage blocks, so we can break them back down into the raw copper. This is the base game block of raw copper right here. It's not my one from my uh, compliance texture pack. And I, like I said, I will be updating my compliance texture pack at some point. I just haven't done it yet. Um, and then we will be able to get more stuff. Uh, well, we will see what the, the new ones look like with the, all, all the different raw uh, stuff. So... The iron ore and the gold ore and stuff, it sort of, it, it looks good, but what I'd really like is to get a double chest of blocks of raw copper, blocks of raw gold, and blocks of raw iron. And then we use those for some kind of building 
construction. I don't know what it would be. I've got no idea. I haven't really thought it through. So there's that one. Um, why have you got loads and loads of shears over here? Uh, don't go pick them up. There is um, for leveling. Oh, uh, right. For the thingies. So Because I'm running an... low on wool. Oh, right. We've got an axolotl tank in here. You know you don't actually need to keep them dark if you're breeding them. I know. It won't, also, you won't get any more spawn in here either because uh, you've got the numbers limit on them. Um, so are you just like going in there and giving them some buckets of fish every now and then? then? Yeah, that's why I've got them here because it's easy to go and pick up some. All oh, right. This and a... Uh, this um, chest has got... Yeah, i seen that you had all these buckets of fish here. Yeah. There's something interesting about the buckets of tropical fish. There's actually quite a few different types that you can get. And you've got thread fin. You've actually got quite a few thread fins in here. You've got a red chichlid. There's a dotty back and black tang, red-lipped blenny. But I can't remember now how many different types, Emperor Red Snapper, how many different types of fish there are. It's something, I believe there's something like 60 odd different types of fish. They don't look any different. It's just the label that they have when they're in the chest. So if you're a completionist, you will want to get one of every different type. They Me? do look different. What? And you see them in the... Wait, in the water. Oh yeah, when you have them in the water, they look a bit different. Oh, in the bucket they don't. In the bucket just, they, they all look the same. Their names, but yeah. there are various different types, so we could build a big aquarium somewhere, and we could go and do a load of stuff with that. Uh, but what I was going to work on a little bit today was just going to do a bit more of this. Like I said, unfortunately, I didn't have time to get to any between um, when we were last here and doing this, so I haven't extended out the line of chests over there. I've been having a bit of a think about what we could do. Why can't I? I can't get down here. Down where? Let, let me down. Oh, I know. Seriously, it won't let me down. There we go. Right. I've been having a think about whether or not we should have all of these chests joined together or whether we should just leave them as they are. And honestly, I still can't really decide. Like, I'm a bit torn. I really do like the feel of what we've got in here, although I do think that we should have moss walls. Uh, but one thing that I do want to do is possibly dig this room a little bit deeper. But I would like to do some actual mining. I want to do a mining session with... Bone meal and moss blocks. That's something that I'd actually really like to do. I'd like to try it out and see what it's like. The other thing that we need to do is build the item streams. So today I was going to do a bit of a construction um, few videos. I know that, uh, you know, I come in and say today like I'm just planning an episode and we're not. It's several episodes. So these next few episodes I was actually thinking of doing a bit of construction work. I'm not going to worry about building that the chests all the way back through at the moment. We'll, I'll probably do those in between videos, or at least not on camera. Um, but we could get the item stream out and over and get that kind of set up. So we need to get some ice and stuff and get that going. Uh, but there is one other thing that I wanted to try. And you've got your axolotls here, Sen. Yeah. The squid pen that we've got back home. I've been thinking about this one because you said that the axolotls go into the squid pen um, or they spawn in it and they kill the squid. Yeah. And then you go in and you harvest the glow ink sacks from the top. Yeah. So I want to go back home and I want to make some adjustments to the squid pen because I've got an idea of how we could still have the axolotls doing the work in there. And harvesting the squid for us, so it's a passive income of glow ink sacks. But we don't have to keep going in there and scooping them all up. They will just automatically scoop. Right. So I've got a bit of an idea of how this will work, if my understanding of water mechanics is actually correct. What have you been doing here? Um, how close are they? Is it me, or do they sound like... Oh. There's loads of them right under us. Oh, a couple of pigs. 
yeah, like, if you just look around, One, there's... Two, three, four, five, six, four. seven, eight. Eight pigs there. I vote That's we don't fantastic. go down there. Okay. Let's stay up here where it's nice and safe. I wonder if the portal is just close enough for it to stay active, and then you have villagers sort of going in between, which keeps the nether side active as well. Which may have something to do with it. So, yes, the, the, the whole guardian farm thing that I wanted to build, I want to work on that at some point as well, but I'm not going to just yet. Um, there's... I want to do the, the water streams and that over on our new bit of build that we're going to do. And I've been thinking about the... Go this way. I've been thinking about the um, the concrete generator as well. Not the concrete generator, sorry. The, the stone generator that I want to build. And it's one of Il Mango's designs. And I was actually thinking... I really, really enjoyed doing the witch farm on live stream a little while ago so i was thinking that i might just get the blueprint for the concrete uh, for the stone generator and do that excuse me do that as a uh, live stream uh just for something to do um so i might end up doing that by the time this video goes live i will have made up my mind and announced it if it's going to happen but um yeah so that's something that i might be going to do uh, right. I need right. some buckets. Buckets. So I'm gonna. Have we got a load of buckets here somewhere, or? Um, I don't know. We might have. Uh, no. In the okay. iron right. thing. Right. I'll just run over and get a bit of iron from the iron farm. It's gonna be the easiest way. Uh, do you have a little bit of oak on you? No. Huh. You've let me down. Do you want me to get some? I want one oak fence and one oak gate. Have so a, that we can repair the bit on the you? carrot pen. Eh? Have you gone inside? No. Um, uh, we also want one jungle plank to repair okay. the bridge from the lightning strike. And then I think we should get some copper and put a few uh, lightning rods over our house and the library so that we don't have more bits disappearing in thunderstorms. Okay. I am glad that we sort of figured that out, or at least half figured that out. Now... Hang on, what do we need? A piece of oak fence. There's one oak fence and one oak gate to fix the missing bits on the carrot pen, and then on the bridge down next to the original cactus farm, there's a one piece of jungle plank that's missing down there. It's um, not like the end of the world type missing, but it's still missing. Okay, so we've got one zombie flesh in there. We've got another zombie flesh in there and a lot of iron. A lot of iron in there and a lot of iron in there. Now this is more like it. we got quite a bit of zombie flesh. We're down in here. I can't open those chests at the top. It's going to have to trickle down through. But my goodness me, we have got a lot of stuff in here. This is absolutely fantastic. How have we got string in here? Where are you There's... looking? In, I'm in the zombie, uh, in the uh, in the iron farm, just having a look, and you should see how much iron we've got in here now. Like it's giving a good indication of just how much was being wasted with um, each time it filled up by how much we've got in here at the moment. You should come over and have a look. In just a um, trying to find this. Where is? Oh, I is that not meant to be like that? It's what not meant to be the like that? The gap. I thought that was meant to be like that. The gap in the carrots. Uh, no, that's that's a piece that went missing. Oh. That's oh, why I was getting a. Now. That's why I was getting a bit more concerned because we had a gate and a fence disappear as well. But it fits in with my theory that it's lightning strikes because obviously those two are both made of wood as well. So, as far as I can tell, all of the issues we've had have come along from... Oh, you've seen it as well, did you? Yeah. <laughs> um, everything that has gone missing has been burned away from lightning strikes. 
Yeah. The only thing that doesn't make a lot of sense is the glass of the windows. But, I mean, it might be that windows can also be destroyed from lightning strikes. You need to come into the iron farm in underneath. Yeah. And just have a look at how much we've got in these chests down here now. This is slightly insane. My bags are completely full. Oh, of but... course. I forgot you, um... So I opened, I, I opened it up. We can't open the top chest because of the way the roof is. Nice. So Think we've got, got enough? quite a bit in here. We don't have... There's a little bit of red dye in one of the chests. So we could start moving some of it, converting it to red dye. My bags are full, so I'm not going to worry about it at the moment. What I am going to do is I'm going to take three stacks of iron and I'm going to make a stack of buckets. Oh, buckets stack in 16s. So I'm going to have that many buckets. Four stacks of buckets. Hey, oh, oh, yeah, this is for the, um, the squid. Yeah, the squid. I don't actually need four stacks of buckets at all. I could probably have done this with one bucket, but uh, still. We've now got four stacks of buckets. Put them somewhere. I'm going to sleep now. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I can't find anywhere other than possibly those three uh, chunks right in the middle. There's nothing else has gone missing over here. There's, there's nothing has disappeared. And the damage that you pointed out was on the lines of trees, wasn't it? There was bits of leaf missing there were bits of trees missing uh yeah in where main spawn I, chunks well i can't touch anything. yes yeah and everything else that has gone missing on here has been wood apart from we think possibly something weird happened on the corner of our house on the mountain because you don't think you left it like that but i honestly i don't remember if we left it like this or not and yeah. I think that there is a pillar of dirt on the outside that does look a bit odd, but that could have been me building that pillar of dirt up when I did all the um, the first lot of uh, coal up here. Yeah. Remember I did a big block of uh, coal ore up here and mined it all down? Mm, it was a little while possibly. ago. Uh, so that, I'm pretty sure, came from me doing that and not anything else. Yeah. Which does kind of explain everything that's happened here. So yeah, looks... probably is that. So I hope, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying, is hopefully it's that, and then it means it's not something more serious. Right, over here we have got some glow ink sacks in there. What's dying? All right, there's glow squid sacks coming out here. There's more up there going into the glass. So what I wanted to do is we've got axolotls here. They fly, they swim around, they spawn, they swim around, they fight the zombies. Apparently they get stunned when they fight zombies, but they do. They fight zombies, they fight squids, and they just continually keep harvesting everything that we've got under here. Which is really, really awesome, apart from the fact that we've still got to go in there and we've got to get the ink sacks and everything out. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to change things just a little bit. Uh, I'm going to... We've got in here, okay, I can put 32 cooked salmon in there. And I can dump a few of these azaleas and stuff like that in there. Just move them out of the way. I don't need to do a lot here. I want to keep most of these building materials anyway. Put that one in there. Right. So I've got some buckets. What I want to do, let me go into free cam again, is I would like to remove this top layer of glass right here. And then I want to put some water in here. And I want that water to be flowing out across the top. Now, the way that we're going to have to do this, I think, if I just put water in here, it's not going to flow all the way across. It's not going to work properly. So what I need to do is I've actually got to remove this layer of glass on the top, and then I've got to go down another layer, and I've got to put another layer in there of anything. It doesn't matter what it is. We could just put some dirt blocks in there. 
and fill the whole area in. Then I need to go and put water blocks down, water streams. So if I put a line of water streams right here in the middle of the bridge, we'll have seven going this way and seven going this way, and then we can put some collection areas on the side. And what I'm hoping will happen is that these items will go up into the water streams that are flowing sideways, and then they will be picked up by a line of hoppers that we have down the side. That's the theory of it. So we're going to, in order to be able to do this, I'm going to have to dig off all the dirt on the top to start with. And then I'm going to have to start breaking glass. So we're going to take all of this off. Up here like this. Dig all the way back round. And then we've got to start busting the glass underneath. Uh, something you could do, Sen, while you're under there, is start um, putting... Behind you. Okay. What do you want to do? Quick. Um, underneath the glass here, hmm? start doing a layer of dirt. Just okay. one block underneath the glass. Don't go down any further than that. Just one block even all the way along. And uh, actually, I'll tell you what. Before we do that... Might be easier to do it while we can see a bit clearer, although I suppose it doesn't really matter very much. Um, we want to even. I could do it with the dirt as well. Yeah. Let me fill that one back in. Um, we're also going to want to put that over there like that. Uh, what else was it we were going to want to do? Straighten up the edges. We we need to straighten up the edges of the whole area right just move all of this we probably won't come out quite this far this is maybe out a little bit too far but yeah we do need to tidy up the edges inside the cave so if i okay. break that and come in here like this is our little axolotl friend and we want to square off all of these edges but before we do that i'm just going to get a buckets okay i'm stuck in here i need to go out this one we shouldn't need this entrance down here either once we're finished yeah so if i climb up here i'm gonna get a bucket there i get two buckets and now in theory i put a bucket of water up here there like that and that will just flow in a straight line. So I put in another bucket full there and it will push out to this far. So you look up and see where I am. Uh, yeah. That's got to be the outside edge of the pen. Right, okay. So further back than that, we can fill that in. And then it's going to be the same over the other side over here, which is where it's actually directly in line with the wall, which is good. So I'll so pick that. We got, have we got to replace the wall with? Or leave it there? No, the wall can stay there. Right, okay. But we need to shorten this side. Uh, yeah, we'll need to move it. So the toughened glass over on this side, the tinted glass, sorry, over on this side, if we put that in line with the wall all the way along, we'll still be able to see in quite nicely. And then over on that side, we just kind of need to fill it in. And we'll do the same on the back here. We'll just do that in line with the pillar that we've got here. And that will make life a little bit easier for us to deal with. Uh, so it's in line with this pillar here. So I'm going to start breaking down the tinted glass here. Removing some of that. Like this. fairly easy to remove it what the glass yeah if you're stood yeah this what surprised me is that if you're standing you can remove the stuff like that oh i need to go and get some more dirt oh do you i got some have you got enough though probably oh well we also need to have a, a new layer underneath yeah. as well so probably not then Oh, actually, there might be some over here. Oh, in the chest. Oh, there. there's some stone. Yeah. Well, whatever you like. I can use that for um, the wall. Sort of the, the pen is originally your design, so do it how you want. Um, not... This was just like an experiment. 
Right, well, it's an experiment that has worked, and now we're taking it to the next level. Okay. Making something very exciting. Well, yeah, you have to. It's, 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 to the, it's the next level. If it, it doesn't matter what it is. Don't you remember the 80s? I mean, I barely remember the 80s, um, considering I was born at the beginning of them, but I do remember 80s and early 90s. Anything that was supposed to be exciting was always to the next level. Didn't matter what it was. It was always taking things to the next level. It was, that was the ultimate in excitement. No, I just went to primary school in the 80s. Um, that's when everything seemed exciting. They didn't have to do a lot to really jazz up anything. You, well, you, you still don't. Right? If you're jazzing something up to kids who are in primary school, they get excited about just about everything. Don't they? Yeah, true. Well, there you go, then. Yeah, but I'm not a kid. Uh, so why do you act like you're a kid? I don't. I'm very <laughs> grown up and responsible. Yeah, sure you are. I feel that maybe we should have a guest appearance from Dino Dude and ask him if he thinks that you're mature, sensible and grown up at all times. Uh, and no, you are not... agree. You are not allowed to ask him the same question regarding me. That question is off limits. Oh, I wonder why that is. Because this is about you. Mm. And your faults, not mine. We don't have time for the other one. Hang on, why are we putting tinted glass on the roof and a layer of dirt? Tinted glass? I thought we were doing... Right, I don't the, really well, know what you're doing. The glass on the roof right here, this has got to be removed. All of this up here. Unless we build the dirt up a layer. I mean, the tint, the, this glass has still got to be removed eventually anyway. It's just easier if we do it from above. Right. So we want to remove this glass, and then underneath the glass, we just want to temporarily put a layer of dirt. Okay. It is just temporary. Uh, I, ha I just... did get a load of crystals so that we could make more tinted glass. Yeah. I mean, we can do it with tinted glass if you want, and uh, not have dirt on the top at all at the end of it. It's just... Just uh, while you're building and experimenting. To do the bit, to get the water streams flowing correctly, they have to be placed on a layer of something. So that a layer of dirt is just the easiest one to remove, that's all. So if we have a layer of dirt, and we can then remove the layer of dirt once we're finished, and uh, then the water underneath the top layer will flow back where, the way I want it. Right. So what we will have is we'll have flowing water on the very top of the pen, and then the next layer down will be the tinted glass. Uh, the, the next layer up, sorry, will have flowing water. Of water that won't be moving. Right, why can't I pick that up? I think I might understand better when I see it. Yeah, I'm not explaining it very well. I'm not very good at the explainering. What are you doing? Trying to get out of the pond. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.